Okay, Mike, in terms of, uh, in terms of winter wheat, um, before, when we take our soybeans off and we're about to seed a winter wheat, should we be doing a fall application of glyphosate before we uh, seed the winter wheat? Yeah, I think pre-plant weed management, be that with glyphosate or a glyphosate Aragon tank mix, is pretty important in winter wheat. And the main reason is you're removing those species like perennial sow thistle, that uh, you know are broad and wide and dandelion and those kind of species that really impact on the stand of winter wheat. You know, this is just space that a seedling has to get through uh, before it can establish. If we remove that, we get a better stand and that relates into to better yield. And so pre-plant applications, uh, definitely a consideration. So why are not more producers uh, doing, you know, exercising this practice? It's a tough timeline. Uh, I'm looking to get soybeans off. I'm looking to plant wheat and I got a lot to do and I'm thinking about corn there's a lot to do and it's one of those things where there are a lot of robust products to get uh, the same weeds in the spring and so there's there's very much a mentality rightfully so of well I can yeah I have the odd dandelion I have the odd sow thistle I can deal with that next spring you can uh, it probably has less of an impact yield wise uh, than de dealing with it in the spring uh, any yield uh, data to show like what the differences are yeah, bluntly, um, the yield benefits from weed control and winter wheat are very modest at best. Um, you do generally, if you deal with weeds in the fall, you're improving stand and you're, you're cranking out more bushels per acre. I can't quantify that, Sean. Um, the the in-crop weed management the next spring is more for harvestability, straw quality, making it easier to combine the stuff, uh, minimizing weed seed return. Uh, we've done a lot of comparative trials and there's very little yield to be gained with uh, in-crop herbicide applications. So is there, would there ever be a situation where you would do an in-crop in the fall time? It does happen. A couple of rare scenarios. For those producers in eastern Canada or Ontario that grow winter wheat after canola, uh, there's a lot of volunteer canola and it's pretty common for uh, a producer to, to do a fall application of a buckdrill M, for example, to get rid of the, the volunteer canola, as they should, um, because it's, it's fairly competitive at that stage.